Hey everybody, it's Bill Duran here from Punish Props. Last week I did a video on cosplay and photography and copyright law. I recommend you go check that out right here. I got loads of feedback on that video, so I figured I would do a follow-up. First of all, why is there now a controversy about laws that have been in place for decades? I'll tell you why. Cosplayers are getting famous. And not like internet famous, but legitimately famous. Many of them have fan followings in the hundreds of thousands, or in some case, millions of people. They are now realizing what TV stars and Hollywood actors have known for a long time. There is a real monetary value to their likeness. Many of them are taking advantage of this value by getting photos done of them in their really cool costumes and selling prints of those photos at conventions and on the internet. However, when photographers that they haven't worked with start selling photos of cosplayers, those cosplayers are likely to be upset that someone else is profiting from their likeness and hard work. Here in the US, the photographer does in fact have every right to do this. So what can a cosplayer do about that? If someone is cutting into a cosplayer's print sale so significantly that it's taking money out of their pocket, it falls on the cosplayer to create unique, compelling content and products that people would rather spend their money on. Cosplayers have the ability to have their own booths at conventions, to do in-person sales, and to sign autographs on their prints. All of these things add value to their products and make people want to buy them. This is why professional models and photographers do specialized photo shoots in isolated locations or on private property. They're creating unique content that nobody else has access to. That makes it more valuable to the consumer and there is only one place to get those products from the model selling the prints. Now, if there is some boogeyman photographer out there that is making a pile of money selling prints of cosplayers, I haven't heard of it. I know that there are photographers who have been accused of doing that, but I haven't seen anything that would make me feel cosplayers are losing out on a significant portion of potential revenue. Even if that were the case, it would be likely such a fringe thing that it shouldn't be an issue for the vast majority of cosplayers out there. All of the big time cosplayers and photographers that I know all have arrangements with each other that are mutually beneficial to all parties involved. Mm -hmm. Based on the feedback I've gotten from many of you, people seem to feel that the cosplayer puts more effort into the final print and therefore deserves at least a shared copyright of the photos. They feel that since photographers automatically own the copyright to photos that they make, the laws here in the United States are horribly one-sided. When it comes to putting in effort into creating a unique photo of a costume, I probably have a little bit more insight and a little bit of bias towards the photography side than most people. For starters, my mom is a high school photography teacher. Hi mom! I was in the dark room back when I was just a wee little lad. I also have a degree in computer art and I've spent thousands of hours digitally manipulating images. And also I am a very serious amateur photographer and for a long time was considering going pro. Till this pesky prop making career crept up on me. So when people claim the photographer just takes a photo, I get a little bit perturbed. People who buy prints can tell the difference between the effort put into this photo that I shot with my camera on auto settings with the pop-up flash and this photo that I spent a significant amount of time setting up, lighting, taking, and processing. Consider the setting, lighting, framing, posing, styling, composition, exposure, aperture, ISO, depth of field, distance from the camera, white balance, and a myriad of other choices that go into taking an aesthetically appealing photograph. These are all choices that any photographer with his or her salt must consider when taking a photograph. Choices that take years of practice to master. Also consider the amount of post-processing that can go into a single shot. Some raw photos can take hours of highly skilled work to produce a truly unique and visually stunning piece of artwork. Bear in mind, as a cosplayer, you do put a lot of effort into your costume. However, that costume would be extremely hard for someone else to duplicate. As a photographer, you put a lot of effort into your photos. However, especially with the way technology is evolving these days, those photos have become so easy to duplicate, most people do so without even thinking about it. This is why 
photography copyright laws were created and updated in the first place. Hopefully, most people can at least respect the amount of effort a good photographer will put into a photo of a cosplayer. But remember, even if you could break it down into an effort percentage between the cosplayer and the photographer, that is still irrelevant to copyright law in the United States. If you personally disagree with the copyright laws in your country, it's even more important that you understand them. Some countries, like Germany, have vastly different copyright laws when it comes to taking a photo of a person. You have the power to create any type of arrangement or contracts with a model or photographer that the two parties can agree on. Simply yelling, it's not fair, into the internet is not productive. Here are some other things to consider. If a cosplayer uses a photograph without getting permission from the photographer, the cosplayer is breaking copyright. Even something as innocuous as downloading a photo from the photographer's Facebook page and posting it on your blog can get you into hot water. Unless, of course, the photographer has granted everyone permission through Creative Commons or something else like that. If you're a photographer who believes that your copyright has been infringed upon, you can send the offending party an invoice if you like, or you can actually even file a civil suit. Uh, but it's best to talk to a lawyer about such things before taking any rash actions. On another note, many people wanted to let me know that if content owners like DC wanted to, they could sue the pants off of cosplayers who are selling photos of themselves dressed as characters that DC owns the rights to. Now, the specific laws for this are a little bit muddy. Uh, you can copyright a character, but you can't technically copyright a costume, but you can copyright a mask. It's a little weird. What's really important is that there is no precedent for companies sending cease and desist letters to cosplayers for selling prints, so I would not worry about it. Once again, most cosplayers will not have to deal with copyright laws, but it pays to be informed. I have a whole pile of reading material down in the description if you would like to dig deeper. As a cosplayer, if you do a photo shoot with a photographer, just have a chat beforehand about how the photos can be used after they are made. In fact, many of the photographers that I've talked to will gladly let cosplayers sell prints of their photos totally for free so long as they ask permission before they start selling them. Thank you guys again for your fantastic feedback. Feel free to keep giving it down in the comments below. I've got some more videos coming up soon, so be sure to subscribe. Take care, everyone.